Let's take the following example. In the following example, what I want to discuss shows six activities and each box in the Gantt chart represent one month on the horizontal axis. The constraints for the project will be the project cannot have more than five resources at any given point. Project cannot have more than five resources at any given point and only four resources are available to do activity D. Only four resources are available to do activity D. So there are some scale resources in activity D. So, so each buck represents one man month. So there are two resources here, two man months, three man months, and three man months. In activity D, there are only four resources are available. And we start with three man months, three, then we need five resources here for five man months, six resources here for this month for a six man month, and a six resources here in during this month for a six man month. Altogether, there is six eight, 18 and 23 man month worth of activity so if you take the resource limit there was a constraint said at any given point the project should not exceed five persons here since there are three man months and four man months and that means seven resources are used here again there are six resources are used eight resources are used and six resources are used so usually in this we first perform the resource leveling and then perform resource moving so let's perform resource leveling under resource leveling for activity d you have only four resources at any given time so here in in dana in here in during this period we need five resources six resources and six resources so this need to be dropped to four resources total together is 23 man month period so under resource leveling definitely the project end date will shift so we can start with three four 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 because a four is the most kept the total together is 23 man months which is equal to this one point to note is that the project schedule has shift backwards because of the resource leveling then you can understand even from the original there is a float here floating period here which is not in the critical path and this is there is a floating period here which signifies that this activity is not in the critical path once the resource leveling has been done now we can do the resource moving here again the second constraint the project cannot have more than five resources at any given time now after resource leveling at this point we are using seven resources and at this point we are using six resources so now it can be smoothened out using using the float using the float it can be smoothing out so that we are within the resource limit here we can smooth it out since there is a float this man month can be pushed to another man month Hope you got this example.